But you say, Brian, that's ridiculous. I live in the city. Why in the world do I need to know how to butcher? Or maybe you're a 40 or 50 year old guy in your perfect neighborhood on your little tenth of an acre subdivision and you go, there's no way. I can't keep a pig in my backyard. I can't keep a chicken. Why do I need to know how to butcher? I'm gonna tell you. We're first generation homesteaders. Never done much of this before. But one of the reasons that we want to do this is because we want to provide our family with good, healthy food. I don't know if you guys have seen grocery store prices lately, but they're insane. We all know that the way they manufacture meat and most food products is not healthy. As a matter of fact, a lot of it's poison. Processed foods, animals that are fed a monoculture diet, they're feeding us garbage. If you're anything like me, you want to feed your family healthy food. Well, how can you do that? Grass-fed, pasture-raised, these things are wildly expensive. One of the reasons it's so expensive is because our benevolent government has gotten involved and you can't buy meat from me that I have raised here unless it has been butchered at a USDA approved facility or a state run facility and then you have to buy massive chunks of it. But you can butcher a deer and share it with your neighbors and that's not illegal. Huh. So small farms, small homestead operations like mine, it's very difficult to make money unless we charge ridiculous prices. And even the prices in the grocery store for organic and grass fed are egregious. So what do we do? I have a solution. Might not be the best solution, <laughs> but it's a solution. There are multiple solutions to the problem. What you can do is you can come to my property, buy an entire hog that is butcher. My cows do not want me to film this. They don't want you to know the secrets. You can buy a butcher ready hog from my farm, other farms, your local farmer, and you can butcher it yourself. That is perfectly legal. It is legal to buy chickens and do it yourself. Rabbits, sheep, you could do a cow, but that would require some infrastructure. So you're saying to me, okay, cool. I come to your property, I buy a pig, and I'm supposed to take it back to my house? Not necessarily. Most of you live within an hour of a farm. Most of you probably have a friend who lives in a rural area. Some farms will let you come to their property and butcher yourself on their property if you bring your own equipment. You don't need a whole lot of equipment to butcher a pig or a chicken or sheep and goats. So you could probably save two or three hundred dollars on the entire price if you did it yourself. You can buy a whole hog, live weight, anywhere from a dollar a pound all the way up to about four bucks a pound. So think of that. You can get 120 to 160 pounds of meat out of a market ready hog for let's, let's split it down the middle, call it 250 a pound. Okay, 250 a pound, market weight hog, 240, 260. So for 500 bucks, roughly, average, this is average, it's also pertinent to our area in Virginia, you could have 140 to 160 pounds of very good meat for your family. Now a lot of us don't think about buying meat in those quantities, so it might take some budgeting. And we'll talk about that in another video. But you can, you, right where you're at, don't have to have the infrastructure. You don't have to have the land. You can skip all those prices, go buy the hog, and do it yourself. They're trying to squeeze us out. They're trying to shut down small producers. They're trying to tell us what to eat. They're trying to control the food supply. This is one of the ways that you can take back control and feed your family better and potentially, potentially save some money besides. If you're worried about the ick factor, don't be. I hadn't done this until February 20th of last year. First pig that I was ever a part of. It's not gross, it's very natural. I've had probably a half a dozen people out here to butcher pigs with me who've never done it before. And they said it feels surprisingly normal. We've been disconnected from our food and that's how they want it. 
if you've handled a turkey at Thanksgiving, a prime rib at Christmas, you can do this. You, you can do this. If you wanna know how to find somebody who is selling whole hog, whatever state you're in, I'm in Virginia, but there's a bunch of groups on Facebook that you can find that will tell you if they're selling whole hog or not. And I'm sure it's the same in many states. I can almost guarantee that 90%, if not more of you watching this video, live within an hour of somebody doing that. And if it's too much for you to do by yourself, get together with another family. Secure your meat supply, secure your food. Take back some of that control. I forgot to mention, some farmers will let you do this on the property and some won't. So you might wanna make friends with a farmer. So is it ridiculous? Is it ridiculous to think that most of us should know how to butcher? I don't think so. I think it's a skill we've lost. I think it's useful not just for small homesteaders, it's useful to hunters, right? If the apocalypse happens, which it might, depends on what the apocalypse looks like, we might all be out there hunting and scavenging. You're gonna need to know how to butcher. Thanks for joining me today here at Flannel Farms. I appreciate it. Keep growing as you grow. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and I invite you to subscribe to our channel. We're gonna talk about budgeting next time. How you can save some money and eat better. We'll see you next time. Bye.